Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. Yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters. Team Black gotta stand up, man. Yeah. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. This gotta be fake as hell, but it's not. It's actually real. I don't know if y'all remember, we recently just did a video of Benton on what that is, Jail House. The little Jail House app. You feel me? Oh, no, nah, they finna call it Jail House. It's still called Clubhouse right now. They ain't changed the name yet. You feel me? But I heard it's in the works. You feel me? And I heard they might do a collab with Christopher Columbus. But look, y'all, this is why. You shouldn't be talking crazy. Not only talking crazy in general, but over these apps, bro. Cause like, bro, on a real note, like, why the hell you acting like, bro, don't sniff uh hot Cheeto powder? I'm knowing Ben Ten be sniffing straight powder and he put it inside his muscle drinks. No time, I, bro. I'll probably do a couple push up, one, two, three, four, five, probably ten every ten seconds, and do a couple smoke breaks in between, bro. He be putting hot Cheetos in his sports shake, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You feel me? At least I think so. But actually, y'all, I want to say this is a sad situation, but on some real shit, like, bro was low-key asking for it. Nigga, you was just talking crazy to this man on the out. You feel me? Not to say BNT ain't got anything to do with it. You feel me? I'm just pointing out, like, bro, that's the image he was giving off, bro. How is you talking crazy knowing people finna come see about you, bro, and you just get caught lacking like that? At this point, the savagery is at an all-time high, bro. I've been saying this, bro. Like, niggas is getting too reckless out here, bro. You feel me? I want us to rewatch the little Clubhouse video real quick, so you feel me? I can remember exactly what was being said. But before we get into that, bro, make sure y'all go follow my Twitch. I will be streaming my first Twitch on Tuesday, bro. For all of y'all that just been going to my Twitch, we will be doing these reactions live, bro. So go ahead and get to my Twitch, bro. We finna turn him up. And make sure y'all follow my Instagram so you can stay stupid updated, bro. I just dropped a song, y'all. Go let me know if it's banging in the comments below or whatever. It's called No Speed, you feel me? But let's get into the video. This don't sound like the same. Is this the same video? It's about 30 people talking. Hold up, bitch. That's the whole club chat. I ain't trying to hear the whole thing. Tweaking. Just started it off wrong, right there, you feel me? Telling him who he ever killed. First of all, why would you even say something like that on Clubhouse? Second of all, why does it matter? Do you gotta already then kill people to kill somebody? Shit, you gotta start somewhere, nigga. What the hell? I ain't kill nobody. I'm put to me. Stop talking like that, Dan. Fuck around. I'm a whole hoe. Like I'm a hoe. You talk like that to why I'm a hoe, and nigga know where I'm at, though. I'm a hoe, but nigga know where I'm at, though. Never did. I'm a hoe. I'm a hoe. We talked it already, bro. That nigga never. And then you got homeboys co-signing. You feel me? Letting folks amp you up, bro. Y'all got to move with y'all own mind. Don't be out here letting people amp you up, be in the background, because when situations get sticky, half them niggas don't even be around. Especially when you the face of whatever you got going on, the organization, the damn camp, whatever. You the face, my nigga. The other niggas in the back talking, they really not even paying attention to them like that. Now, if they come across them, it is what it is, but nigga, really looking for you. Yeah, nothing but talk good as a bitch. I'm sad. Not y'all kicking teeth. I've never even shot one of his officers before. Not y'all kicking teeth. That'd be the same nigga getting wolfed from talking. Who said not us kicking teeth? Who said that? 
Bitch, you can go with him. It's just crazy to me how he was just talking crazy. And now we got this little news report, bro. Let's actually watch it to see, like, if they got any details on the situation, bro. Because, like, damn. Again, they are investigating this shooting. I, by the time that I made it out here, uh, we did notice uh, Chief Murphy Paul and District Attorney Hill Moore. They are on the scene right now. And, again, this is a very active scene still trying to get more details to try to figure out what exactly happened again this was called uh called out about around an hour ago and we did get the chance to speak to uh one man who was leaving the mall as soon as uh, minutes after the shooting happened and he described to me as a uh that this was a very chaotic scene and in fact he says that he has never seen baton rouge this bad before again this is a developing story and more details of this more details and again this is uh standing right outside the uh bacardi exit uh, you the just messed up. sears is right next to it and also right next to the j alexander's restaurant so that you can get a better look and sense of again where exactly this is directly across the street from brg and again this is a developing story and we will have more information on this shooting as it develops Damn, that's really crazy, bro. Them folks was out in public with the foolishness, bro. At this point, people still be saying stuff crazy about why be them and they camp or whatever. But one thing that we just continue to see, bro, like it's people that's with them that's ready to go all out for the game. And the craziest thing about this situation is like, bro, you don't even much gotta play tough because it's like, look how Big Tim was acting. He was saying like, oh me, I'm, 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 I'm pussy. Like, he was basically showing like he ain't had nothing to prove, but it's like once you get around females, you know it's females on the amping and boosting, when in all reality, bro, females be the main ones ready to make you jump off bridges and all type of stuff for that coaching. Like, damn, bro. A lot of people be doing that extra tough shit once they get around females and forget like, damn, bro, when you're not around this female, who are you really, bro? Is you even really about that for real? Like, when the shorty's not around, I know a couple people I grew up with, when they around girls, they are ready to fight. When they around a clique of niggas, them niggas reading books and all type of stuff. Them niggas praying and everything, bro. Like, it's really crazy out here because a lot of people end up being in the worst situation because they try to be this person that they're not just because other people like it bro be yourself bro just like a lot of people acting like they ain't got a sense of humor they just too gangster to have a sense of humor but well, sit your ass down boy you ain't that damn gangster to the point you can't even laugh oh you just you just mad at the whole world but stop bro we keep seeing crazy situation after crazy situation just because folks don't want to put their pride to the side everybody want to be a big dog don't nobody want to seem like they scary Everybody is a gangster. Then you gotta down talk another dude just to make yourself feel good. At the end of the day, bro, all the way 100% different from everybody. Everybody got their own shit going on and everybody has something similar going on in some way, bro, you feel me? In all reality, you gotta be on point by the nigga and you gotta be on point by the quote unquote real nigga. Cause lately it look like a lot of scary niggas been killing niggas, bro. The scariest nigga gonna be the first one to murk some. He scared as hell. He did it on accident. What did it happen? You feel me? You don't got to be the biggest gangster to catch you a hat. Like bro was saying, like, you could be the first hat the nigga catch. Now I'm talking about But let me know how y'all feel about this in the comments below. I'm about done with that. Clock out, clock out, black guy. Just walk out. Okay, I'm out here trying to get paid with dogs. I ain't got no kids. Ain't trying to be able to say your dog. I know that you did. Ain't out here doing no favor, dog. What you done did?